You must be a productive citizen. It is the law. Coming to you from Australia, it's Idiot Box Radio. Please welcome the hardest working type 2 diabetic in podcasting. It's Idiot Box Radio with your host, Tori. Hey there guys, how you doing? I hope this finds you well. I'm moving around a little bit too much for the start of the video. My name's Tori Idiot Box Radio and you're listening to idiotboxradio.com. You can find the website, of course, you know, fucking what I just said then. Yeah. Anyhow, you can email the show at idiotboxradio at gmail.com. Subscribe on Apple Podcasts. You can listen directly from the website. You can also join the Idiot Box Radio fan club on Facebook. I've got all that out of the way. We're about to do a movie review. So strap in, buckle up and fucking make sure you're ready for a spoiler-filled fucking extravaganza. Only the way I can provide it. This show is not safe for work. There was a disclaimer at start of the show so if you're playing it to your workmates all gather around laughing at me then maybe your fucking boss will get the last laugh as finally their plot to take you down succeeds because you're listening to the dulcet tones of the filthy boy on the fucking internet when we do movie reviews i try to be succinct as possible because i'm a man of action salting fucking fruit and painting pictures and getting to the point today we're going to be for a change reviewing a nicholas cage movie it's called the humanity bureau don't worry i'll put a picture in the back on my green screen doesn't always work out so well but i'm doing my best under trying circumstances and i don't have a lot of money for a big fucking studio setup. I would if more of you subscribed. Did you know that less than fucking whatever percent of you actually subscribe who watch? I don't know because I'm getting about three shows on the video but more on the audio. Maybe I should focus more on the audio. I don't really know. That all rhymed, yo. In any case, Nikki C, Noah Cross in Humanity Bureau. The year is 2030. Most of humankind's been wiped out and most of them are fucking no good for nothing. Noah Cross, aka Nikki C, Nikki C for the rest of the review, sends people who cannot perform tasks for society off to New Eden, which is meant to be a beautiful place where all their dreams will come true. Unfortunately, it's where they're all put to death and they are shipped off in fucking little urns with their ashes in them. He doesn't know this and he's been going about it for some time. Quite good at his job, in fact, looking at getting a promotion. When he runs across a woman and a boy out in the middle of fucking Shitsville who he takes a liking to. And little do we know till later in the movie, the boy is his son. On top of that, Nicky C is a clever little cookie. He also knows that the woman isn't the mother. It's actually a case of the girl who he banged and made the fucking kid who is a parasitic pain in the fucking ass the whole way through is was going to be sold to the woman who eventually became his mother because the other mother the other mother from the real brother was fucking a dead shit fucking drug addict who wanted to sell the child for food 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 now I don't know how you sell food for food but people were eating people back then as shit got really hairy on the outskirts and as people were being affected by radiation Noah Cross Nikki C sorry I already said I wouldn't call him Noah again but you know Noah, I can't help him myself. He decides that he's going to fucking snaffle this woman up who doesn't like him much, the kid who does, and they're going to make a trek across the fucking country while being pursued by the rest of the Humanity Bureau who have got to fucking be in their bonnet about Nikki C because he's meant to be sending people off to be fucking turned into fucking compost. You can't turn people into compost while you're escaping with some of the compost. Even if the compost is genetically your own fucking flesh and blood from when you fucking threw a rough shot into a chick when you were out in the Badlands when you were meant to be doing your job instead you're getting your fucking dick action on. What we're presented with here is actually a decent movie. This is meant to be taking place in the year 2030, not too far away. Hopefully we'll have nuked ourselves by then to find out if the Humanity Bureau actually exists. Morbid. In that time, however, Nick, Nicky... Little, 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 little. In that time, however, Nicky C will be the saviour of humanity. As I can tell you, he's done over 100 movies and a lot of them portraying the good guy or the guy who's going to win the day. And he will win the day once again, even if he has to head up the real Humanity Bureau by himself. Don't mind me, it's not your imagination. A day's passed and I'm in slightly different clothing with my hair a little bit crazier. We're still talking about the Humanity Bureau though and as Nikki C grabs the ungrateful fucking shit and the slightly hotter non-mama mama that he might like to play with the bummer and they put them in a fucking shit house car and takes them up to Canada. Canada. Home of the free and the land of the brave. But they have to go through nuclear infected wastelands. All the whilst being chased by drones and the Humanity Bureau. Our boy Nikki C ain't going to play like like that though and he takes them through with a skill and dexterity that we can only expect from the golden child finally canada's reached but unfortunately the antagonists have also reached our protagonist there's a lot of 
protagonists here. Mickey C looks around. He's like, I can get us through this. But a couple of bullets zinging through the woods, felling the non-mama mama who he liked to play with the bummer, but never got the chance to poke a rummer, falls to the ground dead. Unexpected death, mean character snuff. Nicky C looks around, he sees his ungrateful fucking kid who actually doesn't know that he's his kid. He just thinks that Nicky C's cool. And why wouldn't you think that Nicky C's cool, even if you didn't know there was familial intention? Is that even a term? I'm going to run with it. Nicky C says, Run! And as he's taken out in a hail of bullets, Nicky C doesn't make it through the movie, which angered me greatly. There is retribution, however, from a sniper rifle that takes out a lot of people, but it's not in time to save Nicky C from the fallout of the Humanity Bureau. All things said and done, this wasn't too bad a movie. Fairly hokey special effects, but a strong enough story to keep you watching the whole way through and be riveted by more than just the Golden Gods acting prowess. I'd give this one 7 out of 10. I might be being generous, but I actually enjoyed it and I did watch it from start to finish, not taking a day in between like this review took. But until next time, make sure that you do check it out for yourself. Let me know what you think. Hit subscribe on the fucking directory service of your choosing and I'll see you on the very next show where I'll probably talk about something to do with bodily function. Idiot Box Radio out.